I'm Andrew for Andrew Talks. I'm ready to talk and I hope you're ready to listen. The pen is in hand. Let's go. Does anybody have $1,474? Anybody? You? No? Anybody? Crew? Anybody? Okay, it's not really for me. It's for a dad in Louisiana who let his eight-year-old drive the truck. Yeah, that's right, you heard me. Drive his truck. And not just to the corner market, no, 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 or to the movies down the street, no. He was on the highway from Louisiana to Dallas, Texas, because the father was too drunk to drive. Yeah, that's right, too drunk to drive. And to make matters worse, his four-year-old daughter was in the back seat with no seatbelt. Oh my Lord, unbelievable. What is wrong with America that we are allowing parents to let their eight-year-old drive and that we're letting them get off for bail for only $1,474? Craziness. Craziness. The good news is the kids were taken into custody and a family member went, came to get them and uh, get them out of harm's way. But can you imagine what a tragic story that would have been if this eight-year-old had hurt them, his family or let alone anybody else driving on the highway that day. Just so sad. What is wrong with America? That is the topic of Andrew Talks this evening. And it, you know, we can't always be happy. We can't always have happy topics. And so today, it's a tough one. Tough one to swallow, but we're gonna figure it out together. What is wrong with America? We're gonna move from Louisiana. We're moving up just a little bit on the map there to DC. Why DC? Are, are you thinking about Oh, D.C., Washington, D.C., yeah, D.C., you thought D.C. meant debt ceiling. No, no, I'm talking about Washington, D.C., and I'm not talking about the debt ceiling. I'm talking about 18 to 25-year-olds. Yeah, I hope you're watching. 18 to 25-year-olds in Washington, D.C. have the highest rate of substance abuse in America. Over 21% of 18 to 25 year olds are either having trouble with alcohol, marijuana, or cocaine. What is wrong with America? The national average is 8.9% for those three drugs, but Washington DC has the highest between 18 and 25 year olds. So much to live for. And here we are yelling back and forth, especially in Washington DC, about debt and about war and about all these other things. And if we would stop, stop looking up to the debt ceiling and looking around and helping out one another, how much better would we be, huh? Please, please get it together, DC. Get it together. How about those in need, having difficulty with this problem? If you know somebody who's dealing with it, make sure you get them the help they deserve. Even if they don't want it, you try your hardest to be there for them because that is ridiculous. Nowhere in this country should we have 21% of 18 to 25 year olds dealing with such difficulty. Nowhere, nowhere, I'm sorry. What is wrong with America? Moving on, and this is all over the country, honey. Uh, has anybody seen your, uh, my 94, or uh, uh, anyone seen my 94 Honda Accord? No, no one's seen it. Anyone seen my 95 Honda Civic? No, you haven't seen that one either. Uh, anyone seen my 99 Chevrolet Silverado? Anyone? No? Yeah, that's because those are the top three automobiles in America that are stolen every day. Top three, that's right. 94 Accord, 95 Civic, and the 99 Chevy Silverado, honey. Yes, indeed. So if you don't know where your car is and you happen to own one of those models, you might want to stop by the Popo station because it might have been swiped. The reason you're asking why is a 94, 95, and 99 being stolen and not like the new 2011 Ford Fiesta? Well, because with the new age and with new technology, cars are not only safer, they're more difficult to steal. So, back in 94, we didn't have such technology. That's why you can walk off with an Accord or with a 95 Civic and or perhaps a 99 Silverado, depending on your needs as a burglar. Yes, that's right, you heard me as if you do burglarize cars for a living, which you shouldn't ever, lest you go to jail, and hopefully you'll go to jail and have to post bail for more than $1,474, because that would be only apropos here in America. My goodness, what is wrong with America is the question of the day, and it's now brought me to 
Real Talk with Andrew. That's right, Real Talk with Andrew. In this Real Talk moment, I want to talk about reinvention and redemption. That's right, reinvention and redemption. If you are the neighborhood hoe, oh, that's right, I said it. If you are the neighborhood hoe, sleeping with everybody and their mama, or the mama's uncle, brother, sister, whoever the case may be, and you don't want to be hoeing it no more, then stop. Reinvent yourself. Be that classy person that you know you are. If you're sick of people only talking to you because you got this, and they don't want to hear you talk because you have some of this, and maybe a little bit of this here, then reinvent yourself. In reinvention is redemption. Say it with me, it'll feel better. In reinvention is what? redemption that's right the same goes for america like i said we have so many problems going on all we hear about in politics is this side said this and this side said that we can reinvent ourselves we can be the country we always dreamed of if we just work together work a little harder and redeem ourselves because right now other countries are laughing at us you heard what putin said over in Russia. You know, you heard, you heard what he calls us, calling us a parasite and things of that nature. We don't want to be a parasite. We are the mighty shark. We can't be no parasite, honey. No, 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 no. We're like a lion in the African Serengeti. We are the king. We are supposed to be important. Now we are parasite. We got to do better. Reinvent to redeem. That's right. That's the real talk. Real talk for this week on Andrew Talk. Now, you know what I always say. And yes, we've come to the end already, and I'm sorry about it, but you gotta go and reinvent yourself to redeem yourself, and I'm gonna give you time to do it. And whatever, and however you do it, you better make it great. So you have a great morning, you have a great afternoon, you have a great evening, and whatever you do, you make it great. I'm Andrew for Andrew Talks. And I will see you next time. I thank you for watching. And go reinvent yourself. Go ahead. Go ahead. Even if it's even if you are the class clown and all of a sudden you want to be smart and want people to know that you have a brain, then go ahead. Let them know. Let them know. You do whatever you want to do. Just make it great. You can reinvent yourself. I know you can do it. If you can jump out of your comfort zone last week, why can't you reinvent yourself this week? Exactly. I know you can do it. I'm going to see you next time.